what is administration and how it produces records of the colonial period now how do we talk about the last 250 years of indian history what are the official records of the british administration let's have a look so every instruction plan policy decision agreement investigation under the british rule between kings and the british east india company was recorded and clearly written up in their accounts all important documents letters they needed to be carefully preserved record rooms attached to all administrative institutions for example there were a lot of administrative institutions for the welfare of the people for managing their offices etc these record rooms were made specialized institutions like archives and museums were also established to preserve important records and books so letters and memos of various branches were also preserved so it was not just important dates and events in the history it was the day to day activities that were taking place everything related to their trade in india to their trade outside of world etc was recorded and preserved in a well systematized matter These documents were carefully copied out and beautifully written by calligraphs. So, have you heard of calligraphy? Calligraphy is an art of writing in a very beautiful way. There are letters and alphabets written by an ink pen in a very beautiful way. That is known as calligraphy. And calligraphists were the people who were trained and specialized to do that. So all these documents were carefully copied out. We did not have printers at that time. You could not just scan or take a photocopy. So every document, if it needed to be reproduced, it was written by hand. And these calligraphists came into force at that time. That is by those who specialize in the art of calligraphy. With the spread of printing, later on when the printing press and printers were developed, each document and copy they were multiplied and. all these records are printed as pro- proceedings of each government department so that each government department and branch of administration could have a bulk load of backlog and records could be maintained so survey becomes important now we have discussed about different kinds of records how were they maintained printing press calligraphists etc now what is survey and how did it become important in the ancient indian history repeat and what is survey and how did it become important in the colonial period another important source of writing history was through surveys i am sure you must have heard that there are people coming for survey as people were going under the covid vaccination there were medical students and interns who used to come for a survey that how many people have gotten the covid shot so what is survey survey is about recording and examining of a data in a particular or given area on a particular subject now what does it mean you need to understand so surveys are based on a particular population so there are people who go who ask question they record the data in their books and it is specifically based on a specific age group and a particular area so for example if i have to con- conduct a survey for my firm i would go to few houses in my locality and ask them questions i will record each of their responses and then examine them as to how it could benefit me british belief that a country had to be properly known before it could be effectively administered or ruled therefore they started doing their survey as in what the people wanted what were their lives like so they recorded each and everything through surveys and they started to examine the data that they recorded that helped them to give a clear perspective on what the people want and what the british administration needs to do for them so revenue survey service for topography soil quality of soil flora fauna local history cropping patterns was also recorded and carried out so what official records do not tell us so at the time of colonial period during the process of colonization we need to understand that there are official records which were only maintained by the british people and british governors so the whatever data was recorded at that time it was from the perspective of the british government what they wanted how they could benefit from it 
what they were interested in, what they wish to preserve at that time, that would benefit them. So history must not be looked from just one perspective, there are other perspectives as well. So, diaries of people, accounts of pilgrims, travellers, autobiographers, etc. Important people, they used to write their biography which had data about their lives, general people, ordinary people, popular booklets, they were sold in local bazaars which tell us more about life and that period than just the records maintained by the Britishers. Yet the history lacks the perspective of peasants, workers, farmer, tribal people and it is difficult to get to know their lives and what were the difficulties that they faced at that time. What did we learn in this chapter? We learned about what are dates and how are they important. We learned what are surveys and what role do they play in our society. How were the administration and offices used to preserve their records and books. So I hope you understood everything in this chapter. Thank you.